Welcome to the south. Okay, so we're headed to Nick's house. My buddy Nick with the Renegade. Nick the sender, you know. We're headed to his house because I'm the farthest thing from a mechanic, so. And I mean, Nick has a shop also, so it's just like, it makes everything like 10 times better, but he's gonna help me change my right rear axle out on my, or passenger rear, however you want to say it, axle out on the Hilo Tradition. Whatever, it is what it is, you know. So we're gonna change the axle out at Nick's house. I wanna give a huge shout out to Polaris for, you know, just sending me a new axle. I forgot to mention earlier, the main reason that I'm trying to get this axle replaced so quick and everything, because uh, Polaris offered, you know, for me to just take it to a dealership and have them take care of it or whatever. But this weekend, Saturday, October 14th, we have got the Sure Creek Fall Bog happening. I'm like, you know, hosting it. So yeah, trying to have the high lifter and the Sportsman 850 at the event. So we're getting the high lifter fixed right now. So yeah, be sure to come out to the event this Saturday, October 14th, the Sure Creek Fall Bog. It is definitely gonna be an awesome time. And I want to get as many of you guys out there as possible out there uh, sending with me. So I'll put the flyer up right now on the screen. And then my, the flyer is also on my Instagram at JPStevensYT. And it's on my Facebook, JPStevens YouTube. But yep, just want to let you guys know about that. Okay, Nick said that he's about to... Uh... Oh, there he is right there. See, so, yeah, Nick is not a Polaris fan. I think he's going to enjoy working on a Polaris today. Just, you know, because he can just say that he's, he's going to you know get to work on a Polaris. You excited to uh, work on a that much you excited to uh, work on a polaris yeah. i was just telling the camera i was like nick's like pretty, pretty <laughs> against polaris i think he's gonna be... hey polaris has made me a lot of money <laughs> yeah put it that so way. he he hates on polaris but hey the tan one at least impressed you on the last ride there right it did it did that's good gosh you've always got like so much like shock factor going on over here like there's always something something else to show off to the camera what, what's up with this thing electric golf cart you ain't seen this yet no not yet I've had this thing for a couple of years it's pre-pimped out it's chopped up lowered down you know upgraded motor upgraded controller big battery yeah uh yeah i haven't said i haven't even said big and little yet i just say like <laughs> nick, nick the sender like that's your like contact on my phone or whatever but nice be sure to check out old boy's youtube channel uh have you posted any youtube videos recently like yeah, long yeah. form okay i have about a week ago i put up a long form one where i was just out there on the trails by myself sending the hell out oh uh, okay okay yeah. where are the damn uh 29 and a half assassinators where are they at in the shed. where are they at they're sitting in the shed right here Oh, the, the other shit. Okay, let's go look at them, dead gummit. Why? What, you, I just... I, a bad choice? Huh? What do you think about making a bad choice? No, 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 no. I like, I love how they look. I just hated how they performed, you know, just for our type of, like, riding. Nine and a half didn't have enough sidewall to make them float. They had... Oh, like, they didn't have enough... Yeah, I know what you're saying. They didn't have enough, like, uh, carcass, like, tire carcass is what you mean. The random... The random crash head. Yeah, let me Back look at... there on the wall. Gosh! There they are, dude. Like, they look so good, but they were just good. Like, the only time they did well, look at the nipples still on them. Yeah. But the only time they did well was just if you're going, like, 50 miles an hour at the full mud hole. Yeah, like. You got to be full send. Full sends, like, skimming, they were great. But, oh, if you just, like, hit a mud hole, like, regular, like. Nope. Oh, I hated them, dude. Like. <laughs> but whenever I first put them on, they actually did, like, eat. They, like, grabbed the middle rut in the J.P. Stevens bounty hole the first time. Like, I, like I wasn't able to make the J.P. Stevens bounty hole for a while at Shirt Creek. <laughs> Yeah. Word on the street is you're setting up a bounty hole here. Yeah, they actually have a new... Also, rest in peace to J.P. Stevens bounty hole. I don't know. The end of it right now is like super jacked up. I went and looked at it the other day and it was just like non-hittable, you know. But yeah, sure, Creek. I was just talking to them about the event. Hopefully I can get this damn video out before the event. But anyways, like, yeah, they're digging... They digged a new... They dug a new bounty, new bounty hole. So it's not the same one from up top, you know. It's a different one. Okay. But... Is it so, going to be small tire or big tire? It's going to be all like, we're going to have different classes, you know. Okay, so it's going to be kind of like what they did up at Vaughn Farm where yeah. the small guys go first. But we're, it's going to be a limited amount of people, though, because we don't want the, like, the you bounty hole. Three hours. Yes, <laughs> you can't do that, dude. Like, people get bored. They want to yeah. do their own freaking thing. And then and they end up missing the big bikes, which is the cool yeah, part. Yes, <laughs> exactly, because everybody's like, forget this. I'm going to go drink like, and ride around. Ride around. And, yes, fun. exactly. Damn, the gauge's looking rough. I'm not going to lie. Hey, 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 hey. I was a little busy 
after the last Damn. time I rode it. Dude, I didn't, like, I, I was so wore out after this, like, last Mudslinger's trip. I waited, like, a week. Oh. To wash the bike. I hate, dude. I was like cringing so hard when I pulled it out the trailer. I was like, oh my gosh, why did I do this? Like, yeah. but it's back. It's back to clean. She just, but... needs, she just needs a little bit of TLC. I'm yeah. Fine. Oh yeah. I'm if you just right if before you... the end of the week. <laughs> Is, are you? You're coming out to the? Are you coming out to the course, event? Okay. Course, okay. Yeah. But what's your estimated? Like, like I said, you got to factor in JP Stevens, the worst mechanic on the planet. <laughs> The worst. I've I've seen. Worse. I don't know, dude. You're not great. I I'm could not, actually not argue. Saying. I think I think I might be the worst, but I, yeah, like a five minute belt change took you two hours. Dude, it was. Oh my <laughs> gosh, it was terrible. But I believe in you. I think I think you got this. Well, it depends. Is it broke on the outside or the inside? I don't know. Like, what's your what's your estimated ballpark time? time? Yes. Half hour. Hour. Thirty minutes to an hour. Okay. Which one did you break? Was it front or rear? It's rear. It's that right one. You can go shake it a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is it in, in the inner or out? It's the outer. Okay, good. That's good, right? Yeah. It's gonna it easy make it easier to pull out because the howitzers supposedly are known to like have issues getting them out, like pulling them out of the diff. Supposedly. Yep. Yeah, they do. No, I don't think it's gonna be that bad. How do you like the machine? It's a pretty sexy machine, right? I mean. So how's the torque on it? Because it's actually impressive. Like you can just tell just by like just like riding it around that the gearing is so I never, low. I never rolled with you when I had my scrambler. No, the scrambler. That scrambler one thousand was nutty. Yeah. I mean the torque and the power on that thing. Talk to you about yes. So you just get to keep it forever. Yep, yep, yep. JP Stevens has made it full big time. Got a full <laughs> I guess so. It's pretty surreal, you know. Oh. Set up now. Holy hell. See, see what we got right here? Oh my <laughs> gosh. Is it like sendable though? Like, is it like, is, Dude, it, is it ready? Nutty. Is it ready to go? Like, yeah, no, it's, it's ready to ride. Okay, I'm going to have to see you ride it. After we get this damn got launch control on it. high lifter fixed or whatever, it's a Honda with launch control and nitrous. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous! It's pretty nutty. Yeah, you better make some good long form videos, that gummit. Yeah, yeah. Slacking, <laughs> but what? Those are twelve inch rims. Twelve inch rims and thirties. Those look really. I love that look so I much. I like the look. Yeah. They don't do any good if you're wide on throttle. So these are tires that just chew through. These chew all day what do you mean like they're not good in mud holes is what you're saying if you're wide open throttle hitting stuff oh i mean don't they don't look any, very they don't power no they don't look very good like but they chew and they clean out pretty well yeah okay <sighs> don't judge my truck the back of my truck i still gotta clean it out from my last ride that I went on at Mud Slangers. yeah dude i literally like i like left my house i was stressing about it last night i was like i probably should just like Put the axle in my truck just to not forget it and i like dude i went i didn't even like go down my road that's in front of my house like i like barely like left my house and like i was like hold up i gotta get the axle around, <laughs> yeah i didn't have to turn around i just had to like literally just jump out and go get it but luckily but yeah it's just kind of like going hunting and like forgetting your gun dude it's like it's, it happens dude like <laughs> yep, it, dude yep. it legit happens okay is this on uh yep it's on right okay JP doing things. Look at him. Uh, where should I put? Just throw him the bottom there. Right here. You can spin them the whole way off of that, man. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you just... Okay. It'll stay in the side. Yeah. As you guys can tell. Like, dude, I probably look like such a noob. Hey, oh. at least you're trying. There we go. I know, right? I'm so happy. I'm like... <laughs> Nut. Okay, it's just a rubber cap. Yeah. Super easy. There you go. I did it. Look at him. Dude. Yeah, my freaking rubber cap on my tan sportsman came off. Yeah, during my what's it called rod at Mudslinger. What time is it? We need to time this. Time to get a watch. Hello, 
I haven't heard that in like forever. Last time I heard that one, I laughed so hard I fell off my dinosaur. Yeah, that was a different one. <laughs> that old one too. Bro, actually, what I was or do you have like a can you set a, a, a stopwatch on your phone or something? How about that? It is. 410. 410? Okay, 410, 410. Let's pry that back. Ooh, try and keep them kind of flat, otherwise it's gonna get pain. So usually you kind of go and then go like that. And then you take that number right there. Get your real layer. A. There you go. There she goes. There we go. Thank you. 15, 16, it's not bigger, smaller. Uh oh. Somewhere in the middle. Oh, look at that. Dude, heck yes. Here's a big boy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The little guy ain't gonna get it. Okay, okay. This is the, the benefits of being at freaking dude. This is the best. Uh, I think this is this is too large to fit in here, I think. What are you oh, never mind, I'm tripping. Oh yeah. Do I need to yeah, hold it hold that from spinning just hold just that hold it hand. there you go hey there's a piece of your axle oh, okay i was like please can that not be like a bearing or something <laughs> all right now we're gonna pull off your caliper next all right so what are we taking off right now that's your caliper okay so we're taking the off the brake caliber yep okay all right you guys we got to take this brake caliber off to get what why are we doing this to get, to get the rotor and everything off there it goes hey before you take it the whole way out break free the bottom one okay just loosen this one up a little bit hey, you're plenty loose right there look at jp put the max marker if you ain't square on it don't do it okay i'm not square yeah you don't want to strip out the bolt head then we're in for a bad day yeah that wouldn't be good see i would have stripped it out that's what that's what nick is here you guys like i'm telling you oh, i think you got the wrench going the wrong way yeah <laughs> See, uh, make it ratchet that way. Hey, go, dude. Pull up on. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to. Hey, go. Okay, you guys. And what size are these bolts? Fifteens. Fifteens. Trying to walk you guys through this. So four tens when we started. Dead gummit. We're we're about to freaking have a new record <laughs> on freaking uh. He's doing the speed run. I think the only thing that might slow us down is if that axle wants to come out or not. Yeah, we got this. We got this. With 60 miles on it, if that axle stuck in there, I would be very upset. Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, and just, slide, just it slide it back. Maybe okay. Just set that anywhere over there, out of the way. All right. And then this guy. That comes off? off. Okay. Okay. You have two washers for some reason. Okay. That's interesting. We're gonna leave that might come. There. That might come with the new axle, possibly, but maybe not. All righty. <laughs> no, you got grease on my freaking. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's part of the joy. Now we gotta pull this bolt. Okay. That bolt and this bolt. We'll use the Ugga Dugga machine for them. Those are probably some 15 anchor. Yeah, this is the. I got the right. What's the Ugga Dugga machine? <laughs> the impact. Okay, these are 15s also, you guys. And so right now we are disconnecting the A-arm. Yes, the A-arm from the knuckle. From the knuckle, okay. We gotta get the bottom one too. Okay, now we have to get the box. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I guess we didn't need to get the bottom one to take it off. We are gonna need it off to get it back on. Okay. All right. And then now are we? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> let me get that. Let me get on video. Let me get on video. This is, this is a good part right here. If it wants to come out, which it should have popped out on that last part. Okay. All right. Let's here we go. Here. Moment of truth. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Boom. Dude. Okay. What, what are we looking at? What time is it? What, what time is it? In six minutes. Six minutes to get it out? Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. There she be. A freshie. And then they gave you the wrong axle. Oh, that would have been good. They actually, uh, that both like they're they're identical. Each side's identical. Oh, okay. And the rear. Let's make sure though. Yeah, that looks like the right axle. Yes, yeah, Sersky. All right. Wear a new cotter pin. Sometimes they can get, sometimes they don't. 
Well, looks like you get just an axle, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was free, it. Yes. It was free. Right price. If you ever are doing one of these axles, make sure before you start trying to beat it into the diff that it's straight in the diff, not cocked on an angle or anything. Otherwise, you can mess up this circlip and mess up the splines. Makes it really hard for them to get in and out. And I've seen them bad enough where you have to replace the whole diff because someone put an axle in wrong. Uh, so you got to make sure it's straight as possible. And then you put like some <laughs> grease in there first. Yeah, you always put grease in there so that when you have to do it next time, it comes out as easy as it did hopefully easier in some jobs. I like to take and put the castle nut on the end of the thread so that you don't damage your threads when you're hitting on the axle. You push in on it to take up all the slack in the CVs. Just like that. Just like that, she's in. Heck yes. The Hollifer's gonna be right for the event, you guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, ski. All right, I'm just gonna start slapping back. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step back in there, you guys. All right, here comes JP. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the front axles are the ones that really suck to do. No, you just slide this guy right on there. That's why they all break. That's what? Dumb. So most machines, like Can-Ams, yeah. they make it where this hole is the same size as the axle, so the axle is supported by the bearing. Yeah. This one, you see, the axle's loose in the bearing hole. Yeah. And then your brake hub takes up the slack huh. from the axle in this. It's a weird design. Yep, I'm gonna put that bottom bolt hole. There. Does it matter? Are they all the same? No, it doesn't. Well, they might be different. Put them next to each other. Are they the same? No. Bottom one's a little bit longer? Yeah. You think bottom longer one? ones. So the longer one, you guys, is the bottom one. I don't know if it's lined up or not. No, see? it's not lined up yet. Up, down, left, right? Uh, yeah, there, uh, there we go. There okay. All right. And the top one. So, so far, is this easier than the Audi or same, pretty much? Way, 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 way easier. Really? Yeah. He, oh, he yeah. said something positive about Polaris, you guys. Yeah, they're easier to work on because they're broke more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but people do like, for real, like, at, like people say that the Polarises are as easy to work on as the Hondas. That's what they say. Yeah, oh yeah. That's one thing they did put a lot of time and effort into. Is how, making it easier, easier to, to repair. Yeah. Because people work on them a lot. Oh my gosh. I gotta put that in there, man. No. I do not agree with that, you guys. <laughs> So how, just, many, how many miles did your Outlander have on it? I know what you're trying how to say. How many miles? But it just, I think that, I think she was built on a Wednesday, dude. Because <laughs> I talked to somebody at Sabine that didn't have an Audi for long at all, and he said his axle broke it in a daggum water wheelie. Like, you know what I mean? Like, people on Can-Ams, like, it happens now, to I everybody. I say the pre-COVID anything were better quality. Because once COVID happened and yeah. couldn't nobody keep nothing in stock, yeah. they just started pumping out machines left and right without I think any pre on, on his theory, you guys, about Polaris being easier to work on because <laughs> because they have to get worked on so much, I think that's bullcrap. I think that Can-Am just makes it difficult for their machines to get worked on because they want to make more money on service. I think that's that's definitely the, the correct theory. The manufacturer doesn't really make money on service. I don't know, dude. Cause they, no. dude, it's hard. To, you can't even like take plastics off an Outlander without having a Degum Can Am tech degree or something like. You know what I mean? It's what? it's ridiculous, dude. Oh, all four wheels just got the push rivets in a couple. Points. No, dude, Can Am's ridiculous. Okay, so what do we just do? We need to keep these people engaged. Informed. <laughs> yeah. Without arguing. Yes. So. Okay, so we slap the knuckle back on there. Okay. Tighten down the two bolts. Now we just slid the hub and rotor back on there. That's what this is. This is your hub. This is your rotor. And then all that's left to do is tighten down this axle bolt. So all, all, all we did with you guys was just connect the. We just slid the axle back into the hub. That's the knuckle. The knuckle. We slid the axle back into the knuckle. We connected the A-arms back, and then we just put the hub. Hub on, put the axle nut on. Now we need to get the cotter pin, so right? Tighten down the axle. Tight, tighten down the axle first, okay? it. Here, let me do this part, I gotta, right, um, I gotta keep working. Don't get too tight, because this impact's strong enough you can shear the end of that axle off. <laughs> right. I, was like, I don't want to like what the heck what are you just saying <laughs> technically you're supposed to use a torque wrench to torque these down oh is that good right there okay yeah right there is where she used to be now you gotta put your cotter pin back in it's probably under your leg it's over here put it over there all right my gopro is acting up the 11s like like to overheat, so if you're not like doing activity type stuff, like riding a foil or anything, it, they like to overheat if they're just sitting there. But anyways, we've only got like 30 seconds of work left, so. Now slap your caliper back on. Brake caliper right here, buddy. Oh, there it is. 
put it in there. You gotta put your rotor between those two brake pads. This is hard to watch. <laughs> yeah. There you right, go, there you go. You gotta mm -hmm. slide it up a little bit. You remember that bolt. I'm sorry, guys. He's got this. He's got this. Hey! Hey! JP did it. What the hell? You need two bolts. Sometimes you have to grab the caliper and kind of pull in and out on it to get it started if it's not starting. Are you excited to ride the Holiter? I am. Let's to see what it's all about. Oh, that gummit. Yeah, it's not snort. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. See what I'm saying? Yeah. See you line up the hole. Go ahead. Snip them back down. You remember how hard they were to take off? Yeah. I thought that you got to put them back on. Otherwise, those will back out. Oh, wrong way. Just flip it. Yep. There you go. JP knew something. <laughs> Holy hell. Soon enough, we're going to get to your own tool kit and shit. Dude, I was just going to ask, literally thinking about asking you, like, I do have a toolbox. Like, you know what I mean? A good amount of tools, but I don't think I have, like, as many as I need. I don't know. Maybe I do. What do you think? About tight? Put a good tight on. Well, because well, those are pretty important bolts. That's pretty damn tight, though. I think. That's it. That's it. That's, that's. I don't freaking macho me oh, like no, those are not tight. Oh my gosh, from strict to freaking. This is grade eight steel. I was more worried about your bolt backing out. But yeah. Well you remember how hard you had to pull the loosen up. Yeah. Alright. Yep. Tire back on and you're rolling, buddy. Holy hell. No way. <laughs> Wasn't that bad? No, dude. This was like the easiest thing literally ever. All right, let's see if the push-ups and chin-ups have been, <laughs> been helping you out. Helping me out a little bit. Is it easier to just sit on my ass? Yeah. Easily, yeah. Because you can use your legs to like... Force it up there. I knew this trick. I've at least done this a couple times. Yeah, you've done some tire swaps. <laughs> yeah. Oh, literally. <laughs> I got it, boys. You got her. What's the time? What's the time? Are we including? Are Dude, we we've been talking. We've been talking a lot, you guys. So this is like you could do it like probably half the time that we're about to tell you. Four forty-one. Four forty-one. That's still what? Th thirty minutes. What did I say? Dude. <laughs> thirty, but that's thirty minutes of, with us talking. And the GoPro, bro. And the GoPro, freaking. Uh, <laughs> jacked up on me, you know, we, we had to look at the GoPro for a second, so that's 30 minutes with, like, talking and, like, messing with camera equipment. So, realistically, tw minutes. 20... I think you could do it in 10 if you just... Dude, if you're mechanically inclined, 15 minutes. Yeah, all day. If you're mechanically inclined, 15 minutes, for sure. Oh, oh, oh. Your tire will fall off if you put your lug nuts on like that, buddy. Cones go in. Huh? The cones go in. Oh. Your tire will fall off. You put oh no, we off. almost messed up, you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, because those cones center your wheel. It was going to shake and vibrate. It'll destroy your rim and the tire will fall off. See, this is why I have Nick with me, you guys. <laughs> Dude, I literally would have... Oh my gosh. That would have been a bad day. Dude, that's ridiculous. I can't tell you how many times I've seen someone do that, though. Really? It looks like it will go that way. That's crazy. crazy. Nah. The, the freaking flaw with not having aftermarket tires and, you know, aftermarket wheels with the the nuts where you can just, you know what I mean? There's, <laughs> yeah. a, there's, a, there's only a hole on one side. Yeah. So you can't mess you it can't up. It you can't mess it up. And we're done. <laughs> Back to double axle mafia. Okay, I got a question for Back you. Back to what? Back to the double axle mafia. Uh, yeah, no. I more. got a question for you. What's up? When it broke, because I remember when the axle broke on my Renegade. Yeah. I was going down a trail, and I had had a torn boot for probably six months. I knew it was making some noise. Yeah. It was down to go at any moment, and I romped it going over a stick, and it broke. 
and my four wheeler steered straight the other way because I only had the one rear yeah. tire pulling. Did you experience anything? No, I was in a mud hole and I just like noticed like this four wheeler isn't eating like it should. Like <laughs> look back. I'm not moving or you know what I mean? Like <laughs> I could literally tell. I was like, okay, this four wheeler performs better than this. I was like, <laughs> I'm not moving and I know I should be moving right now. And I like sat there and I was like, Okay, I don't see much like mud getting turned up on that side. And I put my foot on it and it wasn't like I'd hit the gas and it wasn't spinning. I was like, oh, dude, yep, I yep. knew. Hey, if you want to talk about an experienced mud runner, I knew the four wheeler was not acting properly. I was in like freaking a six foot of dead gum peanut butter mud and I could, I could still tell. I was like, nah, I should be able to be backing up right now. Like, all right, well, you guys are about to see Big Sin, Little Sin give a little, little uh, yard riding review. I'm not going to let him take it out to the trails, but hey, I'll let him. <laughs> You, you come back covered in mud. We'll swap. I'll take this. You take the end of Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we have an event to get to. No power steering? No power. But, yes, what? it's nice. Isn't it nice? Like, oh. no, I'm saying, like, when you ride it, like, you're, you're not going to be able to notice it. I promise, dude. I promise. You gonna put it in high or low? Which one are you gonna? Okay, okay. Nah, I don't even wheelie it. Nah, I don't even do it. I don't do it. I don't do it. Bro, just put an axle in, trying to wheelie. It'll be fine. Nah, just do some, just freaking do some ripping around, dude. You can definitely feel how heavy the front end is compared to like the yeah. valve end. She's smelling. I'll give you that one. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta, uh. No, I haven't even done it yet. Negative. That's all you get. That's it. It will wheelie, though, right? Yeah. Okay. It's not hard to wheelie. Really? Bro, bro wheelie deer before I wheelie deer. LOL. That's hilarious. Damn, I got it. Let me try it. Gosh damn it. <laughs> oh, no helmet. <laughs> I'm sorry, Polaris. I'm sorry. <laughs> Watch him hang this thing out. He's got it. Old JP, the wheelie man. Oh. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> right over there, baby. There you go. You're so old, JP Stevens, the mini track life. Your final review, though, what you say? Yeah, I'm a can am guy. Oh, man. <laughs> there you go, man. I'll see. We'll get out there on the trails. Yeah. One of these times. We're going to go hole for hole, yeah. We'll go hole for hole. And then we, can, then we can talk about it. Yeah. But as far as like the, uh, the no power steering on mud bike. No power steering on a mud bike, JP. What do you think about it? Like I said, I don't mind it. I really mm. don't. Like, I don't know, man. I, I don't I guess mind. You get the forearm workout. Yeah, I'm, I'm my back, dude. After <laughs> after riding is just like getting swollen. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh, mini trike. Good old ghost mini trike. I guess you got a lawnmower motor on it, man. <laughs> 
Have you seen any of the videos of these? Things? No. I drank today. <laughs> On these exhausts, there's like this uh Oh a drain bolt. Yeah, it's like to get the uh the mud and water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks like about nineteen. But okay. I mean the only time you're able to get that is when it's wet. Because I bet you it's all dried in there now. No, like, that's what people do. Like they like just leave it out. Yeah, like no 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 no. They just take it out and it's like it sprays out like dried up like weird ass i don't know what it's called i forgot what that crap it's it's called but It's like it's like soot or whatever. It's like soot or debris. Dried clay and stuff, right? Like. Oh, did you ever see that video I put of me cleaning out my Renegade exhaust? No. I was washing it. Man, that's probably the most hate I've ever gotten in a video. Yeah. Those all the do all the videos that do well, it's like eighty percent hate comments. Like. I was washing it. And, you know, I got the dual exhaust. What yeah. I told people is, hey, if you want your mufflers to last, your uh, packing to last, leave it running stick your water hose in the exhaust and clean out the inside of your exhaust, which I do every single time I clean my four wheeler and I've never had an issue. Man, the amount of people are like, oh, you're just doing that oh for clout. You're just trying to, you're just trying to make people mess up their engines, blah, blah, blah. You I drive the four wheelers underwater. Yeah, literally. The exhaust stays underwater. It's not a Honda. It'll be okay. <laughs> this, uh, I like this XMR 570. You like that one? I like how they used to come on these Mudzilla so much. Dude, those tires are... That's another underrated tire. Dude. They made them in a bigger size. Yes. Imagine them in like a 32. Yes. They have the Maxilla Pluses, and I saw them at Mudslingers this past weekend. Or two weekends ago, I guess, on a Rubicon, and they look... Dude, they were huge. Like, they ran big, and they were, like, super wide. Like, Hell yeah. I want to run those tires one day, those 32-inch Maxilla Pluses.
is fun. Yes, yes. It is fun. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but dangerous. I can tell, I can feel oh, the dude. danger. Dude. I'm like, dude, I know <laughs> that something bad could happen on this thing. She's got, um, this thing's been flipped by almost everyone that wrote it. Really? I've flipped it twice. See, I can I tell. This. I mean, look at this. This is Ben. I can tell. This is Ben's. That's why I was like, I was like, I'm having fun, but I got to stay careful, dude. I was like, I know this thing is definitely dangerous because I'm sure a lot of people like don't respect it. No, not at all. Exactly. That's where you mess up with like the pit bikes. Or like the is this thing called a trike? Like mini trike, yeah. Mini trike, like all those like little things. Like a lot of people just like don't respect it. Well, they think it's small, so it's not too. Yes. I, I know somebody that bought one of these for a seven year old. Yeah, no, heck no. Wrecked it immediately, dude. Like, <laughs> someone drove through my fence with it. Oh, have you seen the video where when I first got these, I had one of these and then the green one. We're out here drifting on the ice. I think maybe. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of feel a little bad for neighbors though. <laughs> race cars for a living and that's my buddy eric dude. oh okay there you go dude, that thing is loud dude yeah, it shoots flames too what the hell yeah, yeah. let's see if we'll do it is that so is that a predator uh predator ghost but that's a oh harbor freight yeah it's a harbor freight yeah boat. Yeah, the drifting is funny. Well, heck yeah. I guess we're about to end this video off. About the neighbors. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? They're they're not quiet either. But uh yeah though you guys, huge shout out to Nick, Big Sin Little Sin. Yes sir, anytime. For uh helping me get the uh the axle replaced. Obviously this shop is just like uh definitely a luxury. Uh, yeah. just to, so gotta do this for fun. yeah exactly and you know it's definitely awesome awesome uh, to be able to get it replaced it is what freaking like what 60 something 70 degrees outside right now it's like, beautiful it's dude for this. dude yeah. like not too cold not hot as i'll get out like do you have is it heated no i don't have either in this one but that one's heated that one's heated and ac oh okay 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 but this one's neither yeah yeah but yeah though so huge shout out to nick be sure to go subscribe to his youtube channel uh, follow him instagram uh stuff like that are you on facebook also or just instagram yeah, facebook too. okay all just big sin little sin right all big sin little sin okay see you out there at the event next week yeah right Not exactly. next weekend this weekend this we weekend a couple days man i know i gotta get this video out gotta get everybody out there come I, on i know go dude. to jp stevens event yes it's gonna be lit there's gonna be way too many people out there hopefully it's gonna be a great time hopefully <laughs> you already know <laughs> Don't, don't try to underplay it. Everybody's going to be there. Ah, I, I literally did not know. But. Again, huge shout out to Nick. Uh, so glad that we got the uh, axle replaced. Glad that we got to have Nick rip the uh, the sportsman. He said it was, you know, he gave it a pretty good review. Gave it a pretty <laughs> good review. But um, she definitely, she she excels in the mud holes. That's where it's just like, oh, this is built for like, dude. So we're going to see this in the bounty hole? Oh, yeah. I'm going to try. I'm going to send. I want to send both machines. Oh, you're going to bring yeah. both? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. I'm not even gonna be like a part of like the bounty. I'm just gonna hit it, like you know what I mean. Like <laughs> yeah, like I'm not even gonna like be entered in for like the money or like winning the money. Just I just want to just like put on a show for everybody. But anyways, so yeah, hopefully uh, it'll be an awesome time. Glad that we got the axle replaced. It was super easy, a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Hopefully this video was pretty helpful for you guys, and uh, that is gonna be it. And I will see y'all in the next video. You said that when you bought this dog, you thought it was oh, a he was a lab puppy. Yeah, just a little black lab puppy. The mom was a black lab. Uh, Daddy was a wiener dog. That's yeah, hilarious. Chubbs. She's my chubs. She's been my best friend for like 10 years. So cute. What are you doing? Chubbs. What are you doing? <laughs> What's the other one's name? That's Steve. 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 That's such a funny name. Steve. Steve. Uh, everyone asked what kind of dog he is. I said he's the dog you'd see on a train next to a hobo. There you Does go. Does he not look like yeah, that? Yeah, literally. Or, have precise. you seen Lady in the Tramp? What's That's that one tramp? movie? There's another movie that uh, I can't think of it, but what's that? Says that is everyone's name's Chubbs? Like literally, look. Yeah, his name's Chubbs. Okay, awesome. Chubbs, Chubbs. See ya. <laughs>